and welcome to another quick coffee break tip. Um, this one is about rendering a color mask with ArchiCAD. So I've got a very simple house um, design. Looking at my 3D, I applied materials everywhere. Let's have a quick render so we can see how that looks. Okay, please don't take too much attention of the uh, texture maps I use because I, I usually export it to 3 d Max and use V-Ray so I just applied some simple quick textures um, to explain how to do a color mask. Okay, look, this is the render obviously normally so if you save this out you get an image and you can save it as an uh, with our, uh, alpha channel but you can't save this out as a color mask. So how do you get this? It's very simple. All you have to do is in your, let's get back to my 3D if I um, hold Alt on the PC, click on my brick, so we'll see brick here, and you can see that's obviously my brick texture. Now all you have to do with all your textures used, you have to go back to the basic engine, and you've got to make sure you give a surface color, quite, quite a strong color, um, you know, nothing that sort of is so sort of grayish and stuff, okay? And then do this with all, the materials you used and now see up here you go to the vectoral engine click there you see the difference in a moment there you go so that's now the old archicad render engine and all you have to do is now you re-render this but before you do this you have to go to the settings and from the engine here you go to basic render and before you hit render, take the textures out in case you got some textures applied to your basic materials. So I take this out and I hit render. Okay, there you go. This is your color mask. You save this out and this is very easy to select in Photoshop. One more tip before, I, uh, before you go, it's important that the colors as example if you got blue here don't do a similar blue for your gutter as example because it has to be quite different after in photoshop to select um, but that's been here for ever since we had this new cine render engine all right i hope you enjoyed this tip and i'll see you back next time bye for now